everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we're going to go walk around Goodwill, see if we find anything that we can flip on eBay for a profit. I like picking up things from thrift stores and garage sales to make money uh, by flipping them for a higher price on different sites, websites online, websites, random sites. No, eBay, Etsy, Mercari. So looking around so far, I haven't found anything just yet but these baskets are kind of fun. I think they wanted more than I wanted to pay on them though. Of course, now I don't show you that part, but I didn't get them. Look at me. I know you're going to fuss at me. Margaret, you left your purse in the cart again. I'm so bad about that. But since y'all have been fussing at me, I've been wearing it on my backpack. On oh, my backpack. Gosh, I can't talk today. I've been wearing it on my back uh, because I just, y'all know sometimes I'm a little scatterbrained. I didn't realize now I'm looking at that tray and it looked like it had some figures painted on it that were kind of faded out looking. And I didn't take a closer look at them. Coming about. So we should play a drinking game. Every time I walk away from my cart and leave my purse there, I take a drink. I generally look at everything in the thrift store except for clothes. I'll sometimes swing past the shoes and see what they, I find over there. But today I didn't even really want to look at the books. I don't know. I get, I get in moods where I just don't. Tell me if y'all get like that. Because part of me feels like, well, you're missing opportunities, Margaret. But I just get in weird moods where I'm like, I just can't look at fabric today. Or I just can't look at books today. I can't handle that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like I, I get, you know, it's human nature. I get into different funks. When I'm looking at lamps, I look for just something I think is cool or funky or unique. I don't know a ton about lamps. So I just go kind of with my gut. If something stands out, then I'll pick it up and look it up. But if it looks like just see like this like that's pretty cool but I picked it up and it was um, not metal they were ceramic or something else painted to look that way so that's why I did not get them uh, that one was metal it was pretty cool looking but didn't end up pulling it down go figure I also like looking at frames I actually bought some today but not at this thrift store and yeah I thought that was pretty cool. But this black one in the back, I thought, oh, this is a fun one, this mirrored one. But it's not wood. It ended up being just like cheapy, light plastic. So I was like, mm, it might have been an okay pickup, but I, I didn't really want to spend that much on it. Tell me, if you buy frames, what do you look for? I, yeah, like I say, I try to find, if I find like cool vintage ones, then for sure, I'll, I'll pick it up. There were some cool pictures up there, but I... I, it was so high. I can't get them down. And I'm like, why do they do that? Why do they put the big heavy ones like way up high? I can't get that. This mirror was super cool, but they wanted, what was it? Oh, that's not too bad. Eight bucks on that. Er, so my thought was like, I started thinking about shipping it. I'm not afraid to ship big things, but as I'm just getting back into stuff right now, I'm like, well, I'm, just, I'm trying to take it slow, trying to really just pick up things that I'm going to be, that are going to be easy for me and uh, just slowly work my way back into into getting things um yeah <laughs> that clock is pretty cool there's a nice painted not painted but charcoal those are fun little i guess they're, i mean they're yeah it's missing a little vase kind of like a vase set but it's a little picture but they're not i don't know what do you call that what would you call that set because they're kind of vases, but they're, that's not, it's just, and it's not a vanity set, but it's not something you would technically use either. I don't know, maybe it goes on like a, a fancy tray, just to be fancy. So, snow globes I like looking at. I, I thought this was kind of a cool, um, what kind of bird is that? That puffs up its chest, it's some kind of bird of paradise, right? But come on, five bucks? Oh my gosh, I couldn't do it. And guess what I don't look at? I don't think I look at that green glass that I notice now behind it. Um, I do that. I'm really bad about that sometimes. But I'm glad I, I watch my own videos back. This is something, if you don't do videos, try videoing yourself sometime. And you might be surprised at what you miss. <laughs> because I do. I, I go back and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> that was right there, right in my face. It happens. It happens. So far, I have not found anything that I want to pick up to sell just yet. There are lots of cool things, and again, some things like that bird would have been pretty cool, but I really didn't want to spend $5 on it. Then, let's see what we've got here. A sign, and mm, instead of, no. We are not picking up fun quotes anymore, or I am not. This is kind of fun. 
this mirrored bust. This was a, it looks like an Aboriginal painted egg, but again, $4. Come on, I ask you. Now this is a little luminary type of deal that goes on top of a, I guess a candle. That's not the one I thought. I thought I was, uh, there was another one that I picked up, but I guess that wasn't it. Because I do have one of those, but it was one that you can actually put a candle in. Let's see. Y'all tell me if you see something that I'm missing. There's a circle of friends there I probably could have gotten. This set might have been a good pickup because a buck 99 for that set now that I'm thinking back I'm like you know what that that's pretty good it's a buck a piece and it guy has a toothbrush holder and the cup that I guess would you drink out of that I don't know and y'all were telling me last time that these might do okay um what is it called the circle of friends because the last time I saw one it had five of them but I didn't get it I did not so let's see what else we see. That pig is kind of cute. Look at this. I do pick this up and put it in my cart for a little while. This kitty cat, it's got a fuzzy tail. Uh, piggy bank. I've been so drawn to piggy banks lately. I don't know what it is. But every time I look them up, they're not selling. I do end up looking up that kitty cat. It's not a big seller. So I left it there. I don't end up getting it. Spoiler alert. These are, look at that. Who, who wants that looking down on you? I mean, hang your curtains in there. What if that's your bedroom? And you've got these like weird little cherubs like smiling down going like, what you got going on in here? Don't mind me. I'm just going to be watching from up here. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Well, <laughs> this is one I actually posted it on uh, Instagram because I was like, I, I love these little frogs and I think they're so cute. And y'all were like, don't do it, Margaret. That's like a cheapy one. But I felt like it really looks vintage. You're like, no, no, you can buy bamboo and stuff in that for five bucks. Okay. I guess I, I got a little bit to learn about that. But I really did think, like, oh, it looks kind of like old. Watch somebody else come along and go, Margaret, that was old. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. But, yeah, I debated. They wanted five bucks for it. Oh, here I am checking it over. I'm, I'm looking to see any marks, any chips. Okay, $10. I think it was, I thought I said five, yeah. But ten bucks. Ten bucks is a bit much. But if it was really old and cool, then who cares, right? <sighs> I don't get it. <laughs> there is stuff I get, I promise. I see an elephant that I missed. It's hiding behind some blue thing. I liked this green planter, and they wanted $4, but I liked it for me. And then this is one of those moments where I had to remind myself, I'm not shopping for me today. I have to do that sometimes, because then I end up walking out of there with lots of stuff that I didn't need to get. This little frog was cute, but he was damaged. If he didn't have this damage, I might have gotten him. That happened today where I found a, a little, what was it? It was a, a gnome, and it was like part of a set. It he had his eyes covered. Look at that one. Again, if he wasn't damaged, I would get it, it as well. Uh, but I couldn't find the little gnome, his eyes covered, and he was part of the set, like hear no evil, see no evil. But I couldn't find the other ones, so I didn't get it. Yeah. Wanted them all. It was all or nothing, man. All or nothing. Now this bowl, I, I carry this around as well for a while and think about getting it. And I think that was also another $10. Here's the thing too. When I am thrifting, especially now because I'm just getting the ball rolling again, you know, I don't want to go in and drop 100 bucks every time. So I really am trying to capitalize on the amount of money I spend. Is that the right word I'm looking for? I really like wanting to watch it and not like break the bank buying a bunch of stuff until, you know, I start having some sales. I mean, I've been getting sales, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to be spending more than I'm making. <laughs> that I think you can understand. You know, that's something to remember, you know, if you're a new seller, the fun part is thrifting, that's for sure. But also, you know, you got to think about the bottom line. <gasps> look at that alligator. Do I look at it? Why am I not looking at it? What in the world? Why didn't I look at it? I, I must not have seen it. I see it now. Great. Thanks a lot, Margaret. Um, yeah, so don't, you know, break the bank. Buying stuff. That's a good price. And those are vintage, but I don't know how well they sell. Now this little tiger, guess what? He's coming with me. He's awesome. I love buying figural stuff. He's a buck ninety-nine. He's a cute little tiger. If you are born in the year of the tiger, give me a rawr. <laughs> in the chat. This little bunny is adorable too. Now why don't I get it? What is the reason? 
I feel like I, I get to the point where I think it's, oh, that's why. I see another one, and I'm like, oh, this must be one of those things that you go to the painted pottery place and paint it. But maybe it wasn't. But they were pretty cute. This box was cute, too. I, I think there was damage to it. It's a little vintage kind of dresser box. And why did I not get it? I feel like it was damaged. There was a little plate inside. I'm trying to remember why. I oh, there it is, yeah. There's some chips on the top. So I'm trying not to pick up anything that's... Because there are sometimes you'll find something that's damaged that you'll bring it home. I mean, it could still sell even with the damage. But at the moment, I'm really trying to not do stuff like that unless... Yeah, unless it's something that I know is going to sell for a big profit even with the damage. Because I, I'm trying not to turn back into a hoarder. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's goals. Goals for the new year. Let's not become a hoarder, Margaret. I think it's a bit late for that, though. <laughs> I have a pile of incoming at the, at the door of my, my office that I need to process. So coming along now, these lovely, 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 lovelies I do pick up. I actually already have them listed. These are red glass candlesticks, and they, I think I have them listed for 100 bucks or maybe a little bit more. They're awesome. I, when I looked them up, there were just not a whole lot of red glass candlesticks. And these, I thought at first, I was like, oh, wow, I haven't seen like Coca-Cola stuff like this. But uh, when I looked them up, they really weren't. And I thought, oh, even like that's not, that's a good price. You know, it, it seemed like a good price, a good deal. Those were banks. Uh, but I didn't know the tea lights. Okay. I um, When I looked them up, they just weren't. I don't remember what it was. I mean, the maybe 19 15 to 19 bucks so didn't end up getting that that's a pretty cool um box but you know they put the tape on it and i got worried like oh is that tape gonna rip the the finish off look at my camera work isn't that wonderful oh this i had it in my cart all the way up to checkout and when the the lady was handling it at checkout she broke snoopy off i was furious <laughs> Well, not furious, but just like super disappointed. Now I'm just like, are you kidding me? Because that was that would have been a really good pickup and flip. But yeah, no. Snoopy did not get to come home with me because he was broken at checkout. And that was a shame. Again with this, I, I pick them up. I do look them up in the store. But they just weren't. And when I went, I, I've been trying to do a second lap around the store because I know I miss things. And when I went back around later, they someone else had picked them up. So, cool. Hopefully they had a good, uh, they have a, either are Coca-Cola lovers or we'll flip them. I liked this tray, only I think it's too, that chunky like country style. And decided, I don't know if that country style is... Is it back in? Is, will it ever be? Was it in before? <laughs> uh, and now I also see this elephant planter that I did not see. Look at it. Blue. Isn't it awesome? I didn't even. I, I walk by it because I see a sewing box that I'm going to get. E-learning in process. Okay. No, I don't need a sign like that for my front door. Do I? Clam chowder, 75 cents. That would have been a good one for the bathroom, don't you think? I'm still looking for the lick the bowl sign. I'm looking for it. I can never find it. It's going to happen someday. They want $7 for this wooden tray. And what else have we got here? This. I do get this. I already have it listed as well. This is a vintage sewing box. It's kind of the like a shaker style. And it's amazing. I love it. I almost hate to sell it. It's one of those that just like, I never see stuff like that. And it looks really cool. So I think I have it listed for about $100. I bought this box as well, this jewelry box. And because I like, like I say, I like picking up, wow, that was amazing camera work. I like picking up jewelry boxes and that was a good, a good sized one. I might actually use it in a video when I do a jewelry unboxing. <laughs> oh boy, it's a caveman sign. If I can hold it up. If need me, I be in man cave. Hmm. What man is like, that's perfect. That's exactly the style I'm going for for my man cave. Caveman man cave. That's another cool box. I I don't get it, but I, I'm not sure why now. 
I want you to see the look at this wood grain up close. Isn't it fantastic? I mean, if you haven't seen wood grain before, now you have. I am maybe I did get this box. This looks familiar. I'm looking inside of it and I'm like, wait a minute, maybe that is in my room. I think I I think I might have gotten that box after all. Okay. And again, you just heard me say I'm not gonna be a hoarder. If I don't know if I bought that box and it's sitting in my room, that tells you, Margaret, you have a problem. Keep calm and graduate. How long would you need that sign? That would be like, what, for the year? Look at my dress. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I love that green dress. And not finding, not finding. What is this wooden thing, y'all? Help me out here. Does it like a candle go in the middle? What does that do? What is it? I don't know what it is. Here is another, is it a jewelry box or a silver box? I feel like it's a jewelry box. But no, it's a silver box for like silverware. I wish there was a, I mean, what would you repurpose that for? Because I've been seeing them left, right, and center. This incense holder I do get. It's actually in my bedroom right now. The kids decided that we needed to keep it. Because I don't burn a ton of incense. Ask, tell me this. Incense people or not. One, doesn't all incense end up smelling the same to you? It does to me. No matter what kind I get. It always ends up smelling like every every other incense. All right, here's another mirror, and I think to myself, I'm not making the same mistake that I did before when I with the other mirror that was just like this but Asian style, um, or Chinese. Oh, I don't know what it was. Anyway, so I got this. I put it in my cart. This is a Hello Kitty one, and I end up looking it up, and I put it back because it's just not worth the pickup. Look, my card is filling up. It's so exciting. I like, I don't mind doing this when I'm alone, but when I have the kids and I'm like, okay, now it's time for mommy to look some stuff up. They just have to sit there and wait while I'm looking things up. This is, I mean, I didn't get this jewelry box. I don't know how well that would sell with that kind of like embroidered, like nothing says let's put on some fancy jewelry like people working in a field. Why would they choose that artwork to put on the top of a jewelry box? Why not like Marie Antoinette or something? You know what? Screams, let's get fancy. Some people working in a field. I want to like thresh some wheat and then go put on my diamonds, you know, <laughs> or some pearls and maybe do a little, a little weeding out in the yard. <laughs> awful, awful. Again, I am learning slowly glass stuff. I mean, that's just the way it is. You have to kind of learn as you go, unless you want to dive deep. And I just don't have that kind of time. I do not. Same thing with baskets. Like, that looks like a pretty cool one. I don't know a lot about baskets. But usually I can, like, say, like, oh, that looks like a pretty interesting interesting styled one. I end up looking this one up too, but I couldn't, one, I couldn't find anything about the brand, which I thought was strange because it had, a, you know, like a studio and everything, a sticker on it. Somebody was sharing something about these butt baskets on, on a group. Where, where did I see that? I don't get it. And I didn't, at the time, I hadn't seen the post about the, the buttocks basket. But now I'm wondering if I should have gotten it. <laughs> we call them buttlings around here. I don't know about y'all. But um, yeah. Look at that. The way the handles are on that basket. That's pretty cool, huh? I liked that. And again, didn't get it because... Now there's a vase. Like, how's that work? I guess you put fake flowers in it. Because... Yeah. What are you going to do with that? With flowers. Tell me if you see anything here that you would have gotten if uh, you were me. That one is broken. That's not good. I've been seeing a lot of baskets, so maybe the cottage core thing is going out. Thoughts? I don't remember seeing as many baskets. Or maybe it's just because people are cleaning their houses out and they're getting rid of a lot of baskets after they've been cooped up with baskets so long. Their basket cases. <laughs> I don't know. So these pots... Seem to be missing lids, and this little one, I feel like I put it in my cart for a while. They went at 99 cents for it. It's pretty cool looking, I think. Oh, this picnic basket. I, 
Y'all, I have this picnic basket. How did I not show you me picking that up? Uh, but that big pic picnic basket, I have it here in my workroom, and I started listing it, and I was like, how? It, why is it so expensive to ship this thing? Even when I went to, like, USPS and, like, did the... I've tried, and I looked on a few different sites, you know, like Pirate Ship and USPS and, like, trying to figure out... It's it's not heavy, but I guess that because of the size of it, it's expensive to ship. I, j I don't understand it, so I've got to figure out... I have to figure out how I'm going to ship it now. But I like it anyway, so at least there's that. I can hang, have it hang out in my workroom. It can sit here. I could put other things in it, I suppose. It's got to earn its keep. So here's this Christmas Pyrex, and I learned my lesson with the Halloween one. I was like, I am looking up this Christmas Pyrex. And I did, and it's not really worth me picking up. So I don't get it. I don't do it. But it goes in my pile. Let's see what else we see here. Some more. I mean, this store has some pretty good glassware, but... Nope. Nope. Stay tuned for, for the whole video from this, because clearly I did not get footage of everything I picked up from this Goodwill uh, trip, this thrift with me. But I definitely got some cool stuff at this Goodwill, and I need to pull together a haul video. Maybe I can do that and share with you tomorrow, because I did get some fun things, and some of it I already have listed, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I think that's a good process for me to try to get it listed before I show it to you. That way I'm motivated to actually get things listed if I set that goal for myself. This is a cute little set. This one I also do look up, but I did not uh, end up getting it either. But isn't it cute? It's adorable. Why are they shaking? They're cold and they're so lonely. Uh, poor things. All right, y'all. I will talk to you on the next one. Bye. Have a great evening.